The following podcast contains frequent strong language and numerous scenes of a violent nature. It is therefore not recommended for a younger audience or for those listeners of a nervous disposition. Discretion is advised. In the year 1988, the crime rate in the United States rises 400%. The once great city of New York becomes the one maximum security prison for the entire country. A 50-foot containment wall is erected along the New Jersey shoreline, across the Harlem River, and down along the Brooklyn shoreline. It completely surrounds Manhattan Island. All bridges and waterways are mined. The United States police force, like an army, is encamped around the island. The prison's name, New York Maximum Security Penitentiary, Manhattan Island. There are no guards inside the prison, only prisoners and the worlds they have made. This is the Broken Sea Audio production of Escape from New York, adapted for audio by Bill Holweg. From the movie written by John Carpenter and Nick Castle, Episode 1. Come on, let's go. All right, asshole. We hit the Federal Reserve surround us, Winston. Come on, we're coming in. Fuck you. You asked for it. Snake! Former hero of the military, Snake Pliskin, was captured today in a bloody gun battle, attempting to break into the Federal Reserve. Pliskin has survived and awaits transfer to New York Maximum Security Penitentiary, Manhattan Island. In other news, the Third World War ravages on. More nuclear detonation by Russia and China in the continental USA. Sheboygan, Wisconsin is gone. The year now, 1997. Statue of Liberty Island Security Control. New York Maximum Security Penitentiary. Manhattan Island. Shit, walkie, talkie. Need to get a new one. Like we ever get new equipment around here. Base control, this is Gotham 4, North Bay, Station 17. I have an escape in progress. An object in mid-bay moving towards the wall. Copy that, Gotham 4. Eagle 2, did you copy that? Over. I copy, base control 1. Over. Intercept and neutralize, over. Intercept and neutralize. I copy, base control 1. Eagle 2, out. Copy that, Eagle 2. Good hunting. This is Eagle 2. Targets acquired. Confirm escapees on the raft. Alerting them to my presence. Over. And guess who's here, assholes. Fuck. 
They're firing missiles. Roll. Missile. No. Your worst nightmare. Base control one. This is Eagle two. No response to warning shot. Targets resighted. Missile re-aimed and locked. Copy that, Eagle two. Clear the water of refuse. Over. <laughs> God, I love my job. I copy base control one. Out. See you bastards in hell. <laughs> base control one, this is Eagle Two. Targets eliminated. We'll sweep sector to confirm no survivors. Over. Copy that, Eagle Two. Out. Eagle 2, this is Gotham 4. Confirm the kill. Circle the base. Kill confirmed. Over. Copy that, Eagle 2. Base Control 1, this is Remy. We have second confirmation from Eagle 2. We have a kill in Mid-Harbor, south of the battery. Two in the water dead. Over. Copy that. Two confirmed, Gotham 4. Very well. This is Liberty Island Security Control. Show your ID to the monitor at the gate. There you go, sir. Prison transfers, fresh out of the sentencing from the mainland. You're clear. Hold on. Gate's open. Drive your bus through that gate and follow the yellow line to the debarkation point. Who's that coming in? Fresh blood. Great. Air traffic, this is Remy. We've got newbies inbound. All you convicts, front and center. That means you, Eye Patch. Now. Here are the papers. Uh, you need to sign here and here and uh. Captain Remy. There you go. We've got him now. You can go. Lucky you. Yes, sir. Guards, escort them. Don't get any ideas. We shoot first at New York Maximum Security Penitentiary, Manhattan Island, and we don't ask questions later. Nice eye patch, asshole. Fuck you. You get your share in there. <laughs> asshole. Long hair. <laughs> get him out of here, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. You heard the man move. Attention. You are now entering the debarkation area. No talking. No smoking. The next scheduled departure to the prison is in two hours. Move, now convict. Right. No talking. <coughs> Move. Move. <coughs> sergeant in the processing area. No talking. No smoking. Follow the orange line. Hold it. New transfer. This one thinks he's a tough guy. Oh, really? <sighs>
We've got a small jet in trouble, Hulk. Over restricted airspace. Where is it, Rebby? Seven miles out and closing. Shit. We've been on the board for the last 20 minutes. We haven't been able to reach them. There was a transmission 10 minutes ago. He identified as David 14. Then all of a sudden he was cut off. David 14, acknowledge. David 14, we are sending air rescue. Squawk 7700, contact on 121.5. There's still no reply. Bayon, I have a mayday in a restricted space. New York, I have it. Who is it? I don't know. You have the code? There's no David 14 on the computer. Unlisted. Unregistered code. We telex Washington. Still waiting for a reply. I think I've got him, sir. It's too late, assholes. All your imperialist weapons and lies can't save him now. We're going down. We're gonna crash. David 14, acknowledge. Code's coming in, sir. Who the hell is it? Aircraft identified. Code, David 14. Decode, Air Force One. Air Air Force Force One? Because when they ask where your leader went, we, the soldiers of the National Liberation Front of America, in the name of the workers and all the oppressed of this imperialist country, have struck a fatal blow to the racist police state. <clears throat> what better <clears throat> revolutionary example than to let the president perish in the inhuman dungeon of his own imperialist prison? Miss President. She's bolted the cockpit door, sir. Can't you shoot off the lock? No, sir. She's pressurized the cabin. How about lifting the doors off the hinges? No, sir. Very well. I have the summit tapes in my briefcase. Get me to the pod. This way, sir. open and ready, sir. Sir, this is a locating device to track you if you become separated from the pod. Keep it on your wrist. I'm activating it now. God save me. And watch over you all. One, this is Gotham 3 on station at the wall. A plane is crashing into the island. Jesus! I repeat, a plane is crashing into the goddamn prison! Damn it! Air Force One. I've got the computer simulation tracking Air Force One. Well? Cleared water, losing altitude. Entering Manhattan prison airspace. Air Force One is down, crashed into a building. It's down. Pod ejected and landed. 40 degrees, 50 yards from impact. At least he used the escape pod. There's still hope. I'm going in.
Let's get these birds up in the air now! Yes, sir. Copy that, Elk. What once was New York City, the Big Apple. That was a goddamn disaster zone. There's the pod impact. That building there. He's within 50 yards from impact. Squad one, find him. We'll take the pod. Squad two, hang back. Follow me. Keep your heads on a swivel. These bastards eat each other after dark. Here it is. Get out of the pod. Or was dragged out. The briefcase. There were tapes. Shit. <laughs> what the fuck? You touch me, he dies. Hold your fire. If you're not in the air in 30 seconds. He dies. You come back in. He dies. Merry fucking Christmas! What the... A ring on... Shit. That's the president's goddamn finger! Three seconds. I'm ready to talk. Nineteen. Eighteen. What do you want? Seventeen. Sixteen. Let's go. Let's go! Back to the choppers! Now! Run, soldier boys! We got your asses now! <laughs> Yes, he's right here, Mr. Vice President. This is Bob Hauk. Uh huh. We can't. If we move in with choppers, they'll kill him. We're lucky if he's not dead already. They don't want anything yet. By the time they figure out what they want, it'll be too late. Hauk? Yes, Mr. Vice President. You're right, sir. The shit's hit the goddamn fan. Tell him we have to go with your plan now. Shh. Uh-huh. No. We can't wait until tomorrow. If we have to move in and take the island, it's a last resort. It's 8.45. I want permission to try a rescue. Thank you. Well? Get him in here. Shit. All right, Remy. He's dangerous, Hauk. I know. I'll be okay. Okay. Bring him in. Sit. There. How about the cuffs? <laughs> <laughs> 
but I'm not a fool, Plissken. Call me Snake. S.D. Plissken, a.k.a. Snake Plissken, American Lieutenant, Special Forces Unit Black Flight, Two Purple Hearts, Leningrad and Siberia, Youngest man to be decorated by the President. You robbed the Federal Reserve Depository. Life sentence. New York Maximum Security Penitentiary. I'm ready to kick your ass out of the world, war hero. Who are you? Hauk. Police Commissioner. Bob Hauk. Special Forces Unit Texas Thunder. We heard of you too, Plissken. Why are we talking? I have a deal for you. You'll receive full part for every criminal act committed in the United States. Already worked up, here. In triplicate. Uh, pardon? There was an accident about an hour ago. A small jet went down inside New York City. The president was on board. President of what? That's not funny, Plissken. You go in, find the president, and bring him out in 24 hours, and you're a free man. 24 hours, huh? I'm making you an offer. Bullshit. Straight, just like I said. I'll think about it. No time. Give me an answer. So get a new president. We're still at war, Plissken. We need him alive. I don't give a fuck about your war, or your president. Is that your answer? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. Why me? You flew the Gulf Fire glider over Leningrad. Silent and deadly. You know how to get in quiet. You're all I've got. I guess I go in one way or the other. Doesn't mean shit to me. Give me the paper. When you come out. Before. I told you I wasn't a fool, Plissken. Call me Snake. <laughs> Fucking arsenal here, Remy. Grenades, flashlights, Uzis, throwing stars, shit. Nice. Shut the fuck up and listen, Pliskin. Some of them have cars. They took old junkers that were left behind and converted them to steam. We think they may also have a gasoline source in there and power. Greenhouses, rigged up generators. Some areas have street lights. The crazies live in the subways. Complete control of the underground. They're night raiders. I'll figure it out when I get there. Nice bracelet. Eagle and all on it. Tracer. Sends a radio signal for 15 minutes. You push it, we can track you on radar. Just like Leningrad. But they added something. A safety catch. Nice big red button. Simple enough. What now? Come on. Top of the World Trade Center. Only place you can land. They won't see it and you can take off from a free fall. On the roof there's a service elevator. It's still operational. We use it to infiltrate the prison. There's a power box. It'll activate the elevator down to 50. From there on down, you walk. Great. You can locate the president by his vital signs bracelet on his wrist. It sends out a signal pulse. Use this. Homing device. Shows directions and distance. Nice. Now what? Doc? E yes. Ready? Fuck's that? Strong antitoxin. Stops bacteria and viral proofs you for 24 hours. <sighs> Great. 
take off the jacket. I'll be okay. Let's go, Pliskin. <sighs> I don't like needles. Can it, Pliskin? Timer. It's activated now. 22 hours, 29 minutes, 57 seconds. We talked about 24. In 22 hours, the Hartford Summit meeting will be over. China and the Soviet Union will go back home. The president was on his way to the summit when his plane went down. <laughs> he has a briefcase attached to his wrist. The tape recording inside has to reach Hartford in 22 hours. What's on it? You know anything about nuclear fusion? Nope, don't give a flying. It's about the survival of the human race, Pliskin. Something you don't give a shit about. Now. I need to swap your neck. Fuck that. Pliskin. Now or never. Fine. Watch it. I'm going to inject you now. It will sting for a second or two. <laughs> Asshole. That's it, Bliskin. Great. Tell him. Tell me what? What the pansy medtech is pissing all over himself about. That idea you had about turning the gulf fire around 180 degrees and flying off to Canada. What did you do to me, asshole? My idea, Pliskin. Something we've been fooling around with. Two microscopic capsules lodged in your arteries. They're already starting to dissolve. In 22 hours, the cores will completely dissolve. Inside the cores are two heat-sensitive charges. Not a large explosive, about the size of a pinhead, but just big enough to open up both your arteries. I'd say you'd be dead at 10 or 15 seconds. Take them out, now. They're protected by the cause. 15 minutes before the last hour is up, we can neutralize the charge with the x-rays. 22, 57, 38, 37. 36. So this is my goddamn life ticking away, asshole. We'll burn out the charges. If you have the president. What if I'm a little late? No more Hartford Summit, and no more Snake Plissken. When I get back, I'm going to kill you. The Gulf Fire's waiting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah.
The Eagle and Child Pub in Oxford. It's 1933, and while life is normally quite dull around here, there are three blokes lately who. Valkyries! We saw Valkyries! I jolly well hope that by the end of term, not a mythological creature is ever seen again. I would that they had never existed. Um, I hate to point this out, Worsley, but usually by definition, if it is mythological, it never existed. <laughs> now you're confusing me. I thought that was my calling in life. Normally, I wouldn't believe a word they told me. But, seeing as last week Ares, God of War, was in the pub, causing 30 quid of damage, I might add, the fiend, I'm beginning to expect the unexpected round here. Oi! I thought I ordered a shepherd's pie. Coming! Broken Sea Audio Productions, Maudlin. Join the mayhem at brokensea.com.